Good morning all, myself Disha Shukla and I am a professor in IT department in an engineering college. Hereby I will be discussing about the subject wireless communication. Wireless communication is the fastest growing and most vibrant technological areas in the communication field. Wireless communication is a method of transmitting information from one point to other without using any connections like wireless cables or any physical medium. Generally, in a communication system, information is transmitted from transmitter to the receiver that are placed over a limited distance with the help of wireless communication. The transmitter and the receiver can be placed anywhere between few meters to few thousand kilometers. We live in a world of com wireless communication in particular, it is a key part of our lives. Some of the commonly used wireless communication system in our day-to-day -day, day -day life includes mobile phones, GPS receivers, mo remote controllers, Bluetooth, audio and Wi-Fi etc. What is wireless communication? Communication systems can be wired or wireless and the medium used for communication can be guided or unguided. In a wired communication, the medium is a physical path like a coaxial cable, a twisted pair cable, and an optical fiber link, etc. This guides the signal to propagate from one point to another. Such type of a medium is called a guided medium. On the other hand, wireless communication does not require any physical medium but propagates the signal through space. Since space only allows for signal transmission without any guidance, the medium used in wireless communication is called unguided medium. If there is no physical medium, then how does the wireless communication transmit the signal? Now, even though there are no cables used in the wireless communication, the transmission and the reception of the signal is accomplished with antennas. Antennas are the electrical devices that transforms the electrical signal to the radio signal in the form of electromagnetic waves and vice versa. These electromagnetic waves propagate through space. Hence, both the transmitter and the receiver consist of an antenna. Why do we need wireless communication? Now, when wired communications can do most of the task that a wireless communication can, why do we need wireless communication? This is a primary question. Now, the important benefit of wireless communication is mobility. And apart from mobility, wireless communication also offers flexibility and ease of use, which makes it increasingly popular day by day. Wireless communication like mobile telephony can be made anywhere and anytime with a considerable high throughput performance. Another important point is infrastructure. The setup and the installation of the infrastructure for a wired communication is expensive and time consuming. The infrastructure for wireless communication can be installed easily and at a low cost. In emergency situations and remote locations where the setup of a wired communication is difficult, wireless communication plays a viable option. Some of the advantages of wireless communication includes cost. Now, as I already discussed that the cost of installing wires, cables and another infrastructures is eliminated in the wireless communication and hence it lowers the overall cost of the system. The next benefit is mobility. As mentioned earlier, mobility is the main advantage of wireless communication system. It offers the freedom to move around while still co be connected to the network. Ease of installation. The setup of installation for wireless communication network equi equipments and infrastructure is very easy and we don't ne need to worry about the hassles of the cables. The next advantage is reliability. Since there are no cables and wires involved in the wireless communication, there are no chances of communication failure due to the damage of these cables. The next advantage is disaster recovery. In case of accidents due to the fires or floods or other disasters, 
the loss of communication infrastructure in wireless communication system can be minimal. Some of the disadvantages of wireless communication includes interference. Wireless communication system uses an open space as the medium for transmitting the signal and hence as a result there is a huge chance that the radio signal from one wireless communication or network might interfere with the other. The next disadvantage is security. The main concerns of wireless communication is security of the data. Since the signals are transmitted in open space, it is possible that an intruder can intercept the signal and copy the sensitive information. The next disadvantage is health concern. A continuous exposure to any type of uh, radiation can be hazardous. Even though the levels of RF energy that causes the damage are not accurately established, it is advised to avoid RF radiation to the maximum. This is the sum of this was the basic introduction of wireless communication. What is wireless communication? How do it operate? What are the advantages and the disadvantages? Now in our subject, this is the syllabus that we have been offered. It includes the first chapter that is the introduction to the wireless communication system wherein we'll be discussing about the evaluation of the mobile communication, mobile radio system around the world, the different types of wireless communication system, the comparison of the common wireless systems, the trend in the cellular radio and personal communication, second generation cellular networks, third generation wireless networks, what is wireless local loop, what is a wireless local area network, Bluetooth and personal area networks. The next chapter discusses about the cellular concept that is how do we create the cellular system the designing of the cellular system that is what is a cellular system what is hexagonal cell geometry what is a concept of frequency reuse channel assignment strategies frequency reuse ratio channel and co-channel interference reduction factor SI ratio considerations and calculation for minimum co-channel and adjacent interference handoff strategies, umbrella cell concept, improving the coverage and capacity in the cellular system, cell splitting, cell sectorization, repeaters, microcells, channel antenna system design consideration. That is this chapter discusses about how can we design a particular cellular system. The next chapter is mobile radio propagation model small scale fading and diversity. Now what does this chapter includes is large scale path loss, free space propagation loss equation, path loss of N loss and L loss systems, reflection, ray ground reflection model, diffraction, scattering, link budget design, maximum distance coverage formula, empirical formula for path loss, indoor and outdoor propagation model, small scale multipath propagation, statistical model, model for multipath fading channels and diversity techniques in brief. The next chapter discusses about what are the different multiple access techniques that is when we want to use because we are there are thousands and thousands of users we need to provide multiple access at a time so there are different techniques that have been incorporated and those techniques include TDMA, CDMA, FDMA, OFDM, CSMA, etc. That these are the based on how you divide the channel. That is based on time division, space division, frequency division, code division, etc. The next chapter discusses about the wireless systems that we have. That is the GSM system architecture, radio interference, protocol localization and calling handover, authentication and security in GSM, GSM speech coding, concept of the spread spectrum. There are different spread spectrum technologies that is direct sequence and frequency hopping. So the, the concept of them, architecture of IS-95 CDMA system, air interference, CDMA forward channel, CDMA reverse channel, soft handoff, CDMA features and 
the GPRS system architecture. And the last chapter is about the recent trends. That is, which, what kind of networks do we see recently in this time? We will be discussing that. That is, introduction to the Wi-Fi, WiMAX, Zigbee, software-defined radios, UWB radios, the wireless ad hoc networks, and the mobile portability. And also we'll be discussing about the different security issues and the challenges that we see in a wireless network. So this is the basic introduction of the subject and the name of and the name wireless communication. Now if you have any queries you can ask me. Thank you so much.